Coming into our autonomous period, we have 74-57 scoring Sorry. a hybrid cone. 99-92 getting the mobility as 10-24 docks on the charge station. And that's the start of our teleoperated period as the teams pick up controllers to drive their robots and score as many pieces as they can in the two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. 9992s lining up to the single player substation to pick up a piece. 1024's got a cube in his community zone. It appears that 7457 and 8742 are having issues, so it's going to be up to 9992 alone to see if they can hold off this blue alliance. Thirty-four eighty-sevens lining up for this cube on the ground. But 87-42 looks like they've come back alive and they're going to take it from them. 10-24 is reaching up high to score on the high node with a cube. Nine ninety two is bringing another cube into the community zone to score that one. It appears on the hybrid node as nine 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 and eighty seven forty two have a bit of a tussle in the middle of the field. Thirty four eighty seven scores a cube in the hybrid node for blue. Scores are pretty tight as we uh, almost come into our end game here where teams are going to try to drive onto these platforms in the middle of the field and get them level to score the most points. As 1024 places another cube high for blue. Red's got a link in the hybrid node, so that's going to get them three extra points. You have a level charge station for red with two robots and a level charge station for blue with two robots with four seconds left. Oh, no! That's a tough one for blue, but let's see how the scores work out. And we have our scores. The winner is the Red Alliance. 3487 maintains their number one spot despite their alliance getting zero ranking points as Red gets two ranking points, putting 9992, it stays in sixth.